I am excited. It's time to start working on actually getting this woodshed up out of the ground. So up to this point, we've been focusing on the groundwork and setting the posts in the concrete. Now it's time to put the headers on. These are two headers that I have had and been lugging around for quite some time. And you'll see they're kind of oddball dimensions, especially that one on top, because I got them for free out of a slash pile. Ha <laughs> ha. At any rate, this one on the bottom here, which is an actual dimension um, header, that's gonna go in the front and it's gonna go on top of these posts but i'm not quite ready to put it up there yet because i need to build a pocket at the top for that header to rest in that will also give me some wood so that i can secure that header on there without using brackets which are expensive <laughs> So here's my trick. I've got a ton of this two by four material that came from the horse barns that I dismantled for this project. And I'm gonna put one of these on either side of the front posts. I'm actually gonna do this in the middle posts when they're up and the back posts as well. And it'll give me a slot at the top of each of those that that header will rest in. It is about 94 inches from the top of this post to about an inch and a half above the concrete. I don't want to go all the way to the concrete because I don't want to give that wood an additional rot point for moisture to collect. So I'm going to stop about an inch and a half above it. And this actually means that I'm going to cut my two by fours to 105 inches. Why 105 you say? Well, I'm so glad you asked. This header is 11 inches um, wide, tall is how it's actually going to wind up. And I need my 2x4s to form a pocket at the top that is about that high so that that can just sit inside there. So I've actually already cut these. These are 105 inches long and now I'm going to secure them front and back to this post. And there you have it. I have built a nice little pocket on this side. Now I'm gonna take my measurements for that side, put the pocket up and put my header in place. I've got both my pockets built. Now I'm gonna show you how a short person gets a 12 foot four by 12 up on top of these posts. I've taken some scrap pieces of wood and I've put them on that post because I'm going to pick up my beam and kind of walk it up there. Now this only works if you do it on both sides. So I have the same scrap piece of scaffolding out there. A couple things I want to point out. I've got my pieces of wood at an angle. That's going to help me uh, rest the four by 12 on there more securely. And my top piece is below the top of that post so that when I move that post over, I'm not getting in my own way. Now these pieces are also farther apart than my four by 12 is high because that way I can easily walk it up the ladder.
Easy peasy. Now, I do have to move that header so that it's sticking out the same on that side as it is on that side, because you can see that there's a little bit of a difference there. So I'm gonna go get my level first off and make sure that these posts are still plumb because when that beam is up there, it's moving the top of that post around. So once I know that everything is plumb, I can start to move the beam and then recheck for plumb and so on and so forth. First things first, I'm gonna get out of my own way by taking off my ladder pieces. Now I'm gonna get up on the ladder and start moving that beam to the right. All right, you can see my ladder is kind of in the middle there. Um, that's because I was getting places a little bit quicker by picking it up from the middle so I could pick up both sides and slide it a little bit at a time. Now I'm gonna take my tape measure up there and just double check that I'm pretty even on both sides and then we'll move on to the next pair. All right, we are the same on both sides. And now, just as a check, I put my level up on top to make sure that we're still level. That's looking good. I'm gonna secure these. This is another reason to do that, it this way. I'm just gonna put like three screws at a diagonal down here to uh, secure that in place. I'm gonna do that on both sides for both posts and then it won't go anywhere, ever.